In any society, the most progressive and successful people always attract attention and cause special interest to themselves. There are many of over-exaggerated articles written about them in street press, bringing much profit to their publishers. Some journalists make slander TV programs about them, using the same material, purposely distorting the truth in order to make money. Others just spread these rumors between each other or during breakfast or while shopping. People envy their success, and when the influence of such successful persons begins to grow and spread not only inside the country but abroad also, some corrupted politicians become intimidated because they can't control them. This is the reason why many great and influential ones get persecuted by mass media with all their dirty methods. The famous preacher and pastor Sunday Adelaja is exactly that type of person whose success is a stumbling stone to those envious people. Usually we say nothing bad or simply nothing at all about dead people. It turns out that Sunday Adelaja is too much alive for Ukrainian and Russian media because all that is spoken about him only negative. We are defending the rights of Slavic nation because we know that this religious sect had captured the minds of many Kiev citizens. So-called charismatic leader Sunday is the head of this community. We see him as a danger not only to the moral state of society but also to the nation's safety. Blacks are the lowest kind of humanity. I don't care if this offends him or not. He's an alien here. Ukraine is for Ukrainians. After having watched some TV programs about Pastor Sunday and reading many dirty articles in press, we decided to find out for ourselves in order to show our TV viewers the truth about this man. What is he really like? We decided to ask this question those who are living and working with him and those who follow his teachings. I've read various articles about him, but mostly they were negative. They see Pastor as their enemy. People say many dirty things about him. I am sure if they had known him more closely, their opinion would change and they would look at him differently. Of course this man deserves much more. All these stories are a lie. They are not worthy of believing. Time will pass and people's attitudes will change. They'll think differently of him. People are worrying about another kind of faith being imposed by this man on them. I can answer them the following. As for me, I couldn't find anything that would touch my soul in any way in the Orthodox Church. But Pastor Sunday is the man that came to a foreign country with a foreign people who were actually nobody to him and just began to serve them. Frankly, I don't even know if I were alive if not for such a man as Pastor Sunday. I want to thank Pastor Sunday that he had obeyed God and came to this dying country. He received me as a father would when nobody needed me and I was forgotten and rejected by society. I wish that society would perceive him adequately as a person. Many people treat him negatively because of their personal views, but I wish people would listen to the opinions of those who were really influenced by Pastor Sunday, but not morally poor people who blame him. Once I spoke with a man who began to blame me for betraying the traditional church, and my reply was, where were you when I was in need? Where were your orthodox friends? How come that the only person on the planet who was black and with a thick African accent had a heart big enough to accept me? Now I can pass any expertise to prove that I am not hypnotized, but a normal person. I have normal family, normal sexual orientation, my children are normal, I am a normal citizen. Thanks to Pastor Sunday, I am a patriot of my country. As for me, he achieves much every day. As a man who came from another country, frankly, why should he love the people of Ukraine? For what reason? Why should he spend his life energy to try to help drug addicts and alcoholics, bombs and prostitutes? Why is he doing all this work and not Ukrainians? Not us. For me, it is a heroic deed 
to come from abroad and save my own nation. He is an example for us. If people only knew what he's doing, no one would say that he is a bad person. And rumors that he's doing that for his own financial interests are nonsense. The one who makes good can't hate those for whom he's doing this good. We have to be more merciful and careful with each other, then the evil won't find its place in our hearts. People in this country still don't understand what a merciful man God had given them. Out of all the countries in the world, the Ukraine turned out to be the luckiest. I think the man who is able to change all areas of society is worthy to rule the country. Our country doesn't appreciate him properly. I was in America, Russia and other countries and heard what people are saying about him. They all wish for him to live in their city at least for a month. But he is faithful to us so many years. If we just realize the mercy and grace that God had given us in the face of Pastor Sunday, who thinks not only of himself, but also of people's problems, the Ukraine would change long ago. Praise God for the wisdom he is expressing through this man. He is a marvelous man. My opinion is that our government has to consult with him. I don't idealize him in any way. But if we will take presidents of other countries, they are not too proud to ask him for advice. They consider him a man of God. I'm just trying to say that Ukraine has to open its eyes and look at him differently. I think we have to stop being proud and start resolving the problems of our sinking society. If this man knows how to do this, I think we have to ask him how. Thank God for this man. Спасибо Господу за этого человека. You know, many people don't understand him. I am ministering in America for five years, and I see how the world's most influential ministers appreciate when he visits them. People are waiting till midnight, one or two in the morning, in order to talk to him and ask for advice. He is invited to every country possible. I know that American culture is more similar to Pastor Sunday's than Ukrainian, but this man stays faithful to the nation of Ukraine where God has put him to minister, even though people here spit at him, throw bananas at him, neglect him, but he is still ministering to this nation, and this selfless desire to minister is the only reason why he is still here. As you see, there are many controversial opinions about Pastor Sunday. In order to find out who is nevertheless right, and what is this extraordinary man really like, and why is there so much noise being made around him, we have appointed a cameraman to him to see what his usual day is like. After getting shooting permissions, we started following him persistently. Our objective was to film every step of our hero and to record his every word. Our journalists were interviewing the people surrounding Pastor Sunday. So now you have a unique opportunity to spend a day with Sunday Adelaja and make your own conclusions about this person. We arrived at Pastor's apartment early in the morning and saw an interesting picture. Mrs. Bossy, Sunday's wife, with a dust rag in her hands. Is she really washing floors with her son Perez? It's amazing. According to the press, Pastor has millions of dollars collected on tithes in the church. He really could hire a whole staff of housemaids in order to keep his wife's hands safe. Something is not clear here. Despite the early morning, everybody in the family were awake and busy with their chores. This is the nursemaid Caroline. And this is Zoe, the first daughter. She suffered. As in all families, they have a morning rush. Someone has to prepare a school bag and repeat his homework. 
Someone has to fix Zoe's hair. Someone has to prepare breakfast. And someone has to eat it all. Everything is going as it Never shave or brush their teeth. Can such great men do such earthly things? We were amazed at what we have seen. The world known pastor lives in such terrible conditions. But even she at times was forgetting about us. <laughs> Sunday calls his wife the princess, showing his love and honor for her. The name of this beautiful African woman is Bosi. We never met such a woman before. She was meek and wise, gentle and patient, gracious and simple. These qualities intertwined in her in a marvelous way. It turns out that Bossy is not only the mother of three children and a wife of such a man as Sunday, but she also rules her house. Pastor is the central church of Embassy of God and the church for English-speaking members also. Bossy is taking care of her family's health. And first of all, this has to do with food. The nursemaid Caroline told us a secret. Every member of the family drinks a glass of distilled water and eats an apple every morning. Then comes a light breakfast. For dinner, yogurt mixed with cottage cheese. Vitamins and food supplements are also necessary. Boise herself doesn't consume meat products, sugar and pastry. She drinks clear bottled water with honey, apple vinegar or lemon. Also Boise takes care of her body by doing simple exercises at home. Perez and Zoe attend diving courses. After a lunch together with children, we will make sure that this is true. Besides, these caring parents decide to give their children music education. But they don't force their children, as we see the children do it with pleasure. We see a normal family, like hundreds of thousands of families around the world, that took the responsibility of raising their children. They speak and sing in three languages, English, Russian, and Ukrainian. Uh -oh. Temptation. Look out. Temptation. The children are taught to keep their house in order and to be self-dependent. They have learned to pray and worship God earlier than started speaking. Who is teaching them all this? Of course their parents, who are themselves deeply rooted in prayer and worship. After everyone finished eating and thanking Jesus, now we have some time for watching cartoons and to check if all hairpins are in their place. 
one two seven nine oh it seems that one got lost let's check one more time one two seven nine but where is the tenth yes beauty really demands high maintenance when five years ago at the church service I saw Zoe, I thought to myself, God, how I wish to be by these children and help pastor to take care of them. And now this dream came true. You know, I can really say that even when I have some hard life situations or some difficulties, all they disappear as soon as I enter this home. My heart fills with God's presence in this house. As for children, they are normal children, obedient, funny. They like to listen to fairy tales. I love them very much. Right away we see that Pearl is a future TV star as she behaves herself before camera, striving to get noticed by the camera. She also enjoys the presence of the microphone and utilizes it. She feels comfortable around our crew members and quickly finds common language with them. At last, Pastor is ready to have breakfast. While eating his breakfast, he's looking through his sermons. He also likes to watch other preachers' sermons. Here comes Pastor's driver. This car's license plate cannot be mixed up with any other ones. It is unique not only in Ukraine, but in the whole world. It says God is merciful, and He really is to this family. What we have noticed is Pastor Sundays and Bossy's attitude towards people who are around them. They are treated as members of the family, and there is no superiority or pride expressed towards them. As to the nursemaid Caroline, so is to Nikolai, the driver. They are treated the same. When pastor is absent on a trip, he always calls us. He's always interesting how our things are going. He never forgets to ask, is there everything good at our home or not? Pastor Boise also asks me about how I feel. Once I got ill, I remember she called me every day, praying and encouraging me. Pastor and his wife are like children to me. Considering my age, they can really be my earthly children. I know Pastor Sunday for 10 years. He knows my family, my children. They all were at his home. Only my grandson doesn't know Pastor Sunday personally. I never saw Pastor annoyed while speaking with people. He is always careful with any person. Pastor Sunday's schedule is full, his day is intense. The office manager and pastor's assistant, Marina Perskaya, told us that. From the very morning, he was about to meet with former drug addicts who attended the main rehab center in Kiev. This rehabilitation center has a beautiful name, Love. It's true, the drug addicts can only be saved by love. As we see, these guys are very glad to see Pastor Sunday. Their eyes are full of joy and they gladly shake his hand and embrace him. Word of encouragement? Photo to remember? And then a prayer of blessing. While looking at what is happening from outside, clear understanding comes how these adult yet childish guys need father's love and care. They are always in abundance when Pastor Sunday is around. Everything is simple, he just has a heart of a father. He's like a father to me. He embraces all people with love. What I see in him is an example of a man that I wish to be. He is my role model and a very good person, always smiling, encouraging with his positive energy everyone who surrounds him. When I saw him preaching on the stage, I saw a strong charismatic person. But after fellowshipping with him more face to face, I saw a father. If we look for a word to describe it, it is father. He is the man who will always listen to your problems. 
He will try to put himself in your shoes and then will give you an answer that you might not expect at all. The more I know him, the more I realize that he is a man that is responsible for what he is talking about. He lives by what he preaches. He had become an example and a father to me in many ways. He is a man I want to be like. He is very open to people, always ready to give advice. I want to be like him, to have the same heart as he does. I wish to have such dedication as he has and also the ability to take responsibility. I also like his spirit of a father. His heart is not indifferent to people's needs. He is a father not only to me but to a great many of people who he is able to contain in his heart. He is a spiritual father to me though his age is the same as my eldest son's. But as a spiritual person, they consider him a father. You know, he's so simple, open and sociable. I don't feel at all his titles when I speak to him. He has a character of a loving and a gentle father. He's always ready to greet you and listen to you. I never saw him harsh, only smiling. The next destination point is Stefani, the charity soup kitchen. Together with the kitchen director, Pastor Sandy went through all departments and stayed satisfied with the menu quality. While attending the soup kitchen, Pastor never forgets to meet the many homeless people that are there. Our journalists couldn't stand the smell and left the room, but Sunday and the workers there reacted in no way to the intolerable stench. More so, Pastor is not scorned to greet these outcast people, shaking their hands and speaking with them as equals. Everyone has a question for Pastor. He always is attentive and sensitive to their problems. After having drenched his feet, Sunday moves further. Today he gives personal consultations at the church office. Pastor is always talking to somebody, if not personally, then by phone. No, principe. Actually, we can meet today, but a little bit later, because I have an appointment right now. He has a non-scheduled meeting. Pastor didn't refuse to meet with someone who needed to speak with him. We don't know who it is yet and where they're going to meet. As it turned out, the meeting was with some successful businessmen that are church members. They needed his advice and we caught a part of their conversation on tape. We decided to collect some money and spend them on social programs in our country. My dream as a pastor and a believer is that a new generation of businessmen would rise up in this country because I see many problems that this society has and how indifferent to them are those who are in power.